Welcome everybody into this new video. Today what we're going to talk about is everything related to Shopify, of course, like we always do on this channel. And we're going to introduce this new technology which has been in the prowl within the last few months or so. And it's called Chat GPT. And basically what this is, is an artificial intelligence software that is mostly focused on human languages or just dialogue and conversations. It's actually pretty interesting. It's free, right? So for those guys who haven't heard of it, I strongly suggest you go ahead and start looking into this technology. Uh, the way that you get into this is go to where it says uh, open, openai.com. These are the folks that obviously developed it. And to use the technology, you could go ahead and scroll down where it says on the left, the chat GPT. Okay, so what we're trying to achieve here is that we're going to create product titles and perhaps even product description, uh, but using the AI technology in order to give us uh, unique information of this particular criteria so that you guys who are doing drop shipping, you don't use the same description as the folks from the brands or from China or from wherever it is that it could be, right? That's the whole experimentation. I'm gonna walk you through how we do this. Let's go ahead and begin. So we go, before we start, as I mentioned again, please go ahead and try to log in. Uh, go to openapi.com. I'll leave that link in the description. And as I mentioned again, go right here where it says chat GPT. And where that is going to take you is to the introduction of this interface, uh, optimizing languages for dialogues. And it will give you some examples as to how you could use it. Go right here where it says try chat GPT. Go ahead, do the login process. As far as if you want to use your Gmail to create a username and password or log in, that's totally up to you. Or you could just use you know, a private email address and then you could just go ahead and start from there. Once you've went ahead and started that, we're pretty much getting ready to add a new product into the store. What I did was just to keep this conversation pretty simple, I went to AliExpress and I typed in women's yoga mats to see if we could find a product. Um, and right here we have this one particular product, uh, you know, from, doesn't really matter who it's from, but it's just kind of like showing you right here. Okay. We have a 183 by 60 centimeter yoga mat, anti-skid sport fitness mat, comfort foam yoga mat for exercise women, sports, yoga, gymnastic. Brutes. Yo, that is a huge product title. Okay. Um, and then we have, of course, some specs, as you can see right here. Let me see if I could just kind of zoom in so you understand how these uh, these titles come in. So we have 100% brand new and high quality. Quantity is one piece. Uh, the light, it's lightweight, small, blah, blah, waterproof, you know, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, it's not really a written product descriptions. And that's what we want to solve. So let's get right to it. In this account, what I did was I've already logged in, okay? And we're gonna play around with this in real time. It's fun. I've played with this <laughs> in all types of questions and maybe I should even just create a whole channel of just me talking about this, like a whole separate channel of just like things, business and all that type of stuff. Cause I found some very interesting answers. So if you guys are interested in me like talking about business and all that type of stuff that's not related to tutorials, please let me know in the comments. Cause I've been thinking about that. I was like, you know, not, I shouldn't just give you guys tutorials. I should give you guys like business tips. So when you're starting off, uh, how to surpass certain hurdles and how to, you know, get your EIN, how to get like basic stuff, you know, business credit and everything. Just let me know if you guys are interested in me creating a channel about that. Um, I'm fascinated about it, but I need your feedback. Okay. So let's get to it. We're going to experiment first of all with this title because this title is just absurd, right? So let's go ahead and ask them. Create a product title based on the following. Create five more examples of product titles that are less wordy. You have it. So you saw how it followed up based on the question that I asked it, right? So the first question was, 
create a product title based on the following 183 by 60 centimeters yoga mat blah blah whatever it is that that had and it came up with a product title it did the exact same thing but it structurized it in a form where it kept the meaningful verbiage but it was still crazy long right and we don't want that we don't want a crazy long product title and so what I said was, give me five more examples of product titles that are less wordy. It actually understood that. And so it remembered the previous conversation and then it followed up with those examples. Mind you, I asked it for five more examples, which was great because it allows me to like kind of read all of them and choose exactly which one's the best for this. So based off of this, I really like number let me know what you guys think in the comments which number did you like on the product title here uh, I liked number three number two and number three look actually pretty good sports fitness mat that's a little bit on the general side but it does get specific with the 183 by 60 centimeters yoga uh, women's yoga mat is too generalized because we're gonna sell more than one yoga mat so we can't come up with that one Pilates mat anti-skid design this is actually good if we flip it check this out i'm going to grab this one number five um let's go to the demo store we're going to go right here where it says add product and what we're going to do is we're going to create this new product right i'm going to go like this but i'm going to take this centimeter stuff out and i'm going to put this towards the end right and i'm going to take this dash out design and i'm going to put this dash right over here so the reason why i did this is because i'm adding human element i'm not just relying 100 percent on the ai in order to give me that direct answer which is the type of practice that you guys should be doing when creating something as such right so i have a very cool uh no wait we're missing something pilates yoga mat we want to make sure that yoga mat is here right why for seo keywords if the keyword for what you're trying to rank is not in this, then this is not gonna work out. So we have that, yoga mat. Pilates yoga mat anti-skid design, right? Anti-skid design, hmm. Let's just leave it like that. All right, let's continue. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the interesting features and we're going to create a product description based off of this. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this information right here, and we're going to go back to ChatGDP, and we're going to say the following. Create. And notice how I went ahead and I started with... Uh, with this colon and also with this uh, open bracket, because I'm saying, look, within quotations, I would experiment if I were you, as far as, you know, if the quotes do work, I've just been doing it myself because it's worked with other things. So I opened the quote right here, I, I put this colon, open the quote, and then I pasted everything, and then I ended the quote, right? And let's see what it spits out. Not bad. So this 100% uh, this 100% brand new high quality yoga mat is perfect for on the go individuals. It is lightweight, small, and easy to carry, making it perfect for taking to the gym. Making it perfect for taking to the gym or yoga studio. That right there, that little wordplay. Maybe we could come up with something and tweak that a little bit. It is also waterproof and dustproof, making it easy to clean and maintain. The mat's soft, flexible material helps to reduce pain and discomfort when in contact with the ground and has excellent toughness and high tensile strength. Made of NBR, this yoga mat is available in three colors, purple, blue, and pink. It measures that, making it perfect for all yoga and other exercises. I like it, but don't get married to that. Okay, so for those who are international people uh, who are watching this video, and English is not your first language. Um, it is very important to understand that, especially if you're trying to sell to consumers in the United States, we read this type of stuff. 
and when we read it and it sounds a bit too rigid or a bit too um as you would put it technical right when it starts to sound on the technical side then it lacks that human connection and that's why it's important to take what you are being provided and try to cook it up so that it's perfect so that it fits your brand i'll be a little bit more specific if you have an e-commerce store and you haven't invested in a brand identity guide where it depicts your customer demographics as to how they talk and how they speak, how they interact, what's their personality traits, then this human connection is going to be difficult for you because you are speaking in a general format where you're trying to cater to everyone and that's not how businesses work. When people buy your products, they want to connect with you. They want to feel self-identified with the product so that it's almost like you know a personality connection, right? And so you have to really touch the pain point of the customer and speak in that manner so that they can emotionally connect with you and thus buy from you. Because remember, you're not a Walmart, you're not an Amazon, right? You're trying to compete with these people. In order to compete, you need to build trust. And so to build that trust, you have to build that emotional connection with the client so that they are intrigued to buy from you. Press the like button if you really like that response because it's the truth, honestly. That's why branding is very important. But suppose we don't have enough money for branding. We're just trying to make this as easy as possible. I'm going to try to see if we could water this down a little bit from the super high technical and make it more friendlier. Rewrite the, um, the above description. At a sixth grade level. When it's blinking like that, when you get that block, right? Several things could happen. It could just shut down and say network error. If that ever happens, try and hurry up and grab this information and copy because that network error might delete the whole thing. And then you're like, wow, that was a good answer. Where'd it go? You can't get that back, okay? So be very careful when that blink comes out. When that blink comes out, Several things could happen. You could get a network error. You could get you've asked too many questions. You could get a whole bunch of things. But as you guys notice, it just went ahead and just described the whole thing, right? Um, so just be wary for that. I always right click copy when that happens just in case so that I could say, like, let's pretend that they went ahead and deleted it and they said network error. I would then create a new chat, okay? Also, make sure that you clear your caching. Go to where it says, uh, if you're on Chrome or Brave or whatever, go to where it says more tools, uh, clear browsing data. And then from here, go where it says uh, cached images and files. Go ahead and free that space. And once you free that space, you go ahead and create a new chat and then paste to say, complete the following description based on the following. Boom, this is where it left off. Press enter and it will go ahead and complete it for you. I've noticed that based on today's date, and if you're watching this in the future and that doesn't happen anymore, just also leave it down in the comments because that means that I have to do this recording again to like, you know, express the new experience, okay? All right, so this is actually pretty good. Brand new yoga mat, blah, blah, blah. It's made of NBR and it comes in three colors, uh huh, which is good size. They said the same thing over here, so they kind of kept that. Brand new yoga mat. So they kind of like messed around with it a little bit. Not that bad, but I think that this is good enough. We are not done. We're going to grab this information right here. We're going to copy this. And let's go ahead and validate this information to make sure that we're not uh, copying other people's website. That's very important. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. So what I've done is that I opened a Word document, right? Um, you guys could use any platform that you want, but I just felt like a Word document would be good. The catch is, is that I have Grammarly installed, right? So if you guys aren't aware what Grammarly is, um, I highly you know, advise you to check them out. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, so don't think that, you know, that I'm trying to like get you guys to spend more money, but Grammarly is pretty good. Um, 
you know, it allows you to go ahead and change the grammar and clean things up so that you're gr grammatically correct. Sometimes the grammars are not 100% to your expectations, uh, where it adds, you know, bits and pieces of things that it just doesn't sound right. Adjust accordingly to your expectations. Uh, the reason why I invested in Grammarly is not just for grammar, but also uh, for the plagiarism check. And also, if you notice, it has like this thing where it kind of uh, adds a plugin to Microsoft Word. That's where I find it very beneficial, according to other uh, competitors. So now that you guys understand that, uh, let's go ahead and put that information here. So I'm going to go and paste to keep text only. And we're going to see some basic Grammarly issues. So let's go ahead and see if we could clean it up. You can clean it easily. I like easily because a lot of people resonate with the word easily. So I'm not going to take that off versus quickly. Uh, brand new. We could hyphen it out. <coughs> Excuse me. We could hyphen that out. Uh, and then which is. All right. Uh, the mat is blah, blah, blah. A good size for doing yoga versus which is a good size for you doing yoga. Let's go ahead and eliminate that. A good size for doing yoga. A good size for yoga, Pilates, and so on and so forth. So let's capitalize yoga on that one, not bad. And other exercises, great. So we've done a little cleansiness on the grammar. Now let's go ahead into that next phase where we're checking for plagiarism. We're gonna open the Grammarly extension. And it has certain suggestions that we've already went through, obviously, but we want to click on this one where it says plagiarism. Again, there's other websites that you could probably work with in order to detect plagiarism. But look at that. This is 100% complete. I've noticed that on some TikTokers that talk about, you know, chat GDP, uh, they said, no, you know, that it's an AI that, you know, they're always like downers, like, nah, but it's this, but it's that, but... 2023 get ready for ai to take over the world you guys are either with it or you're not and if you guys are not with it i'm sorry to inform you but yeah this is gonna force you to start using it and google is also gonna start requiring it by the way google's already creating something on the low to compete with chat gdp this is going to be an interesting war but that's not why you're watching this video so this looks good let's go ahead and grab this information here we're going to copy it and we're going to go to the demo store and paste this information right there. Beautiful. And there you have it. So let's go to this one last piece as a bonus. Uh, let's look at the meta title and meta description. So we have our meta title. We have our meta description right here. Uh, I would say that for the meta title, for the meta title, if we could, uh, we're under 70. In reality, we're supposed to be under 60. That's in the SEO course, by the way. Um, we have 321 characters for the meta description. If there is a way that we can make it less than 160, let's go ahead and do that. Rewrite the above using hundred and sixty max characters. Boom. Okay. So let's validate that. We're going to go over here, copy. We're going to go back into Microsoft Word. We already copied this, so we don't need that anymore. Let's go back over here towards where it says keep text only. Let's look at it. And it's 140 words, but let's cover this whole thing because it's characters that we want to look at. Uh, we're going to go right here. Where is it? Let me find it for you guys. Hold on. All right. I found it. So let's go over here. We highlight the whole thing on Word, click on this one, and we have 214 characters. Continue playing around with this until you get like about less than um, or up to 160 characters with spaces, okay? And then you could go ahead and put that and overwrite this over here. We wanna make sure that we're using up until 160. That is the standard so that Google can compress it and once it shows it on the web, it's actually nice and neat, okay? So that's a bonus for you guys. Let me know that you've watched this all the way towards the end by giving me three check marks as a comment. That lets me know that you saw this thing all the way until the end. I'm going to be looking at the comments, okay? 
And then uh, other than that, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope that this information helps. And until next time.